The only one of these four that takes anything is couch stretch. I think that mobility is so important, it needs more dedicated, comfortable equipment, but even without equipment, I would probably put a pillow on the floor. Then get into it sideways, because you've got that pillow on the floor, the wall is hard. This is soft, the wall is gonna be hard. Then you can like spin into position this way so that you're not just bonking your knee against the wall. Spin into the position this way, and now you'll get to see some details on the stretch. When I'm doing this, I'm trying to contract this butt muscle right there. So I'm not just reaching back like this. If sitting is what people probably do too much, I'm trying to do the opposite of that when I do this stretch. So I'm contracting right there. That's really gonna increase the stretch here on these hip flexors that attach into the lower spine. And then as I come back, I now have intention to push into the wall. So I'm like, in my mind, I'm pushing right there. I'm using my strength. So I'm holding that position. So I'm feeling the stretch and my strength at the same time. So even though this is just a stand, a static position here, I still think of this as a stretch strength exercise. Now the context, I just filmed my go-to hotel workout. These four don't take like gym equipment. I just filmed my go-to hotel workout. I showed details on how to start an ATG split squat. ATG split squat, these muscles are stretching out as you're under load. So they're stretching out a little bit differently than the couch stretch brings them back here. These hip flexor muscles, they go from the lower spine, they go all the way down like into your thigh. So I find the couch stretch gets all of those puppies. Um, and then ATG, ATG split squat works really more these upper ones. But ATG split squat is a long-term progressive loaded exercise. I'll actually show you a tip here. From home, you could start it like this. I helped my mother-in-law. She's really struggling. She would just rock in this position five times a side, switch it around. I had her do up to five sets of five. So you're trying to contract there. You're trying to stretch here. But you're also getting deep strengthening in the front leg. Now, as you go lower, it gets more weight and more stretch. So a chair is near perfect to start this. A stairwell is near perfect to progress. I make these adjustable platforms so you can have assistance. You can measure your exact progress. I think these should be in every gym. I think it's honestly terrible for people that you have tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of expensive gym equipment and gyms, and then often just a paper thin yoga mat for your mobility. But the point is to me, that's like a strength exercise. So I think of something like the couch stretch as a finishing touch on that more true, that I, while I still think of this as stretch strength, look, ultimately I think of the couch stretch as a finishing touch on ATG split squat. I think you're gonna get exponential re results by using them both. Now, flip it around. For example, these four are great if you've been traveling. Sitting here, split squat and couch stretch are like om almost like the opposite of sitting, but sitting itself is also, it's kind of passive through here. So you get into this sort of like uh, crouch position, palms on the floor, and then you straighten a leg. Now it's probably, for most people, it's not gonna look like this at first. This is the goal. So the goal is that you can have your palms flat on the floor fully straighten the legs, but all you have to do is elevate on something. It's the exact same exercise. Bend both legs, straighten one. Bend both, start here. Bend both legs, straighten one. Bend both legs, straighten one. So we've got one standard couch stretch. I don't happen to have a, a wall here, but I've done this for the last five to 10 years using a wall. And the point is that as a test, with that glute contracted, intention into the wall, no pain. You'd wanna be able to touch the shoulders to the wall. So even when I'm here, I can just feel like, all right, boom. I wanna maintain that really easily. There's a standard. Here's the standard. Then getting into positions like this, it would be really natural. Like as kids, we're always sitting in these type of positions. Well, I recommend just getting into it and now getting some motion and strength. So I'm trying to think, with the muscles here, as if I'm pushing into the ground. So you'd have both legs, limited range would be like a starting position, 
then, or both arms, then you go to one hand and get deeper. So I just want to keep those things like mobile, strong. It's that simple. Switch sides. I say a minute on the couch stretch. 20 reps each side. You might even be huffing and puffing a little bit. 20 reps each side on this elephant walk, which I think is underrated, giving the back some time under tension just to stretch out that way. The context in the last video is I showed using weights, not fighting the back running. So keeping the lower back muscles strong, knees are slightly unlocked. Boom, full stretch, RDL. Then to me, this is a finishing touch on that. So I think of couch stretch, finishing touch on ATG split squat. I think of elephant walk, finishing touch on full stretch Romanian deadlift. Those would be really nice to counteract sitting. But sitting is also here and sitting in real life, like little kids, they're just sitting in all these hip positions. So boom, we got one, 20 reps per side. Simple standard of chest to knee. Very simple standard. Cause I don't think on this one, I don't think we have to do, like you could make other standards. When you've coached a lot of people, you start to see common denominators of things where people tweak something in trying to push toward something. So when it comes to stuff, like when it comes to lateral stuff like this, I like to just keep this pinned down and have a really simple safe standard. I found that's enough to do really well through this outside area rather than like yanking passively on something as a test. Last, okay. Now we're gonna get into the inner thighs, the groin, hands would be the easiest. So like right here, for example, but like we want to be doing it where you are handling your own strength and then, okay. Hands would be a measure. Then like elbows would be a benchmark. Can you go elbows, pull yourself back up. And then what I'm trying to maintain is head to floor 20 reps there. It rained last night. Don't, you know, make sure you have a, a safe surface. But there you go, four things that I can just do like that. I can pop into, um, I maintain these from home, but could also do them like if you're on the road. So at, at most these, you need nothing, like literally nothing, just your own body weight. But um, couch stretch at most, you would need something soft, have something extra soft on that ground. And yes, long-term, I will fight to get mobility comfortable and mobility equipment into gyms. Thank you for watching this. I hope this little routine helps you out. 60 seconds, 20 reps, 20 reps, 20 reps. And I think you could do a second round of that. Um, those four are right out of my standards program. The last video on my go-to hotel workout, those four right on my standards. I only do 20 exercises. No long-term contract, feel, it, feel, feel free to dive in, learn all my life's work under 24 hour response time, under 24 hour coaching of your own form videos. Thank you for all the support of ATG, ATG equipment. Have a good one, hope this helps.